Hey everybody, JR Specie here with another box break video. And today we are going to be opening up this 1990 Leaf Series 1 box. So you ask, what is in this set? Well, let's take a look in this 1996 March Beckett. Issue number 132, featuring Ted Williams and Stan Musial. If you might have seen my Denver, my Denver video, I bought the, a bunch of old Becketts out there. And I thought they'd be fun to look at. And I thought they'd be fun for you guys to look at too. Okay, 1990 Leaf. So in 1996, let's see, Series 1 is up to number 264. Big Money Cards, Greg Maddox, $20. Clemens, you got it, $150. Barry Larkin, $1.25. Nolan Ryan, $7. Okay. Moving right along, what do you see there, guys? Anything that sticks out? Marquise Grissom, rookie, seven dollars. Number one hundred seven. What else we got? Looks like your typical stars and Hall of Famers, about one fifty to three dollars. Greg Jeffries booked for a dollar fifty. Eighteen dollars for Albert Bell, number one eighty. Eight bucks for Ripken. Eight bucks for Sosa. John Olerud, rookie, two dollars. He had a pretty good career, I think. Griffey, twenty-five bucks. Big Ben McDonald, a dollar fifty. Nolan Ryan, checklist, fifty cents. And that little tiny square right there is series two. <laughs> but it does have the Frank Thomas, and I'll be opening that one in another video shortly after this one. Okay, guys. So without further ado, let's get to ripping. All right, let's see if I can pause this. All right, guys, sorry, I had to go out and get my trusty Gerber one and a quarter inch blade knife, my everyday carry pocket knife there. All right. I haven't opened up a, you know, a decent vintage box in a while. And I don't know if I'd consider this like super decent, but it's a great nostalgic product. Um... These packs are always popular. They still are. PSA 10s can go for decent money. Um, so I'm going to be definitely looking for some slab candidates. And, and then that's about it, guys. I'll push this back just a little bit. Now I'll take my time opening these a little bit because I want to make sure I don't damage any corners or anything. Because these packs, you know, they're just foil. But, uh, you know, i got to make sure that they're pretty well open so when I pull the cards out I'm not hitting corners on anything because you know that's gonna kill the grades a little bit alright first pack everybody Dan Plesak, Jeff Parrott, Frank White, Checklist, Kevin McReynolds loved them Matt Noakes, Spike Owen, oh my goodness everybody we got a $18 Joey Bell just kidding, that's what it used to be worth. Kirk Gibson. Ventura used to love that card. Bill Doran. Langston. Randy Myers. Greenwell, Mark Grace. First thing I'm noticing is some of these cards have a little bit of um, poor printing. Like it's not super bold printing there on the, on the Randy. I don't know if you can really see it, but anyways. There's the first pack in the books. I did try to sell this break, but nobody was interested. <laughs> I advertised it a couple times, 25 bucks a stack, shipped, um, whether it be top top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. So it was only four spots, and I got absolutely zero interest. So I'll open it, I'll get the cards graded, and I, I tried. <laughs> I tried sharing the fun, but there's a... It was a big card back in the day to Greg Olson. Let's see. Mookie Wilson, Ruben Sierra, another good card back in the day. Oh, there's the Griffey, everybody. $25 book value back then. And this one looks very nicely centered. So, centering is always the issue on these. So, this one is definitely a slab candidate. Set that over there for now. Zeal, he was really he had a decent solid career. Dykstra, Stillwell, Strawman. 
And for anybody wondering what the backs look like, there you go. You get basically full stats with minor league stats. All gray, nice picture. Your typical information, a little write-up. All right, and on the back is a Yogi Berra uh, puzzle. Nice Yogi Berra puzzle. And there's a picture of it. So there's that. I'll probably go through these and pull out some other guys here and there. All right, apparently my flash got too hot, so we're going to do the rest of this without my light on. Actually, hold on a second. I'm going to plug a lamp in. All right, got a little bit more light here now, guys. Okay, let's see. Jody, Jody Reed, Pete Smith, Fred McGriff, Crime Dog, Harold Baines, Jose Canseco, another card we were all chasing back in the day, Gary Templeton, Steve Sachs, Robin Yount, Hall of Famer. That one looks like it's slightly uh, off center too though, so probably not a slab can. These are like super glued packs. I don't know what they had on them to make them so tough to open, but they're definitely not easy to open, guys. Kobe Brooks, Carlton Fisk, Mike Scott, Burt Blylevin, Rob Dibble, Dibble, Wade Boggs, Nolan Ryan. Slightly off center top to bottom as you can see the space below his name and then the top border there. But, you know, great card. Mark McGuire, slightly off centered. I'm trying to remember what that Griffey goes for in a 10 right now. Uh, it's really nicely centered. And that's usually the biggest problem with these things fresh out of the pack is the centering. <clears throat> a Ripken right on top. Slightly off center as you can see left to right. George Bell, Steve Bichelle, Will the Thrill, Ricky Henderson, slightly OC top to bottom. Gwen, slightly OC top to bottom. Nice Ozzy. Bobby Bo. So we're getting a lot of stars in here. Nice Brett. I'll go back through here in a little bit and pull out the stars and uh, see which ones are worth getting putting in my grading box for the, the next submission, which will be around uh, Super Bowl weekend. I'll be going back to the Long Beach show again. If this opening takes a little too long, you guys can just hit the skip button, you know, once, and it'll skip about 10 seconds. It'll get me through uh, opening the pack. <laughs> okay, Dave Bergman, Zane Smith, Sandy Elmar Jr. Oh, Sammy Sosa, rookie. Not horribly centered. Slightly off, I think, top to bottom. But, you know, I'd probably send that in anyways just for... Craps and giggles. John Olerud rookie. I thought Olerud was a really good ball player back in the day. Good hitter. Good first baseman too. I guess he wore a batting helmet on his head because he had a brain tumor. Uh, Non-malignant, but uh, I guess if he, if he got hit in the head where the tumor was, it could have killed him. So he always wore uh, the catcher's batting helmet forward on his head. So, and if you just skipped ahead while I was opening that because I'm so slow, then you just missed a really good bit of useless knowledge. All right, nice Bo Jackson. He seems pretty well centered. Probably, probably send that one and get graded. 
Barry Lyons. I met him a couple times. He gave me one of his business cards and signed it to Marquise Grissom. I think that was seven or eight bucks back in the day. 96. Yvonne Calderon. Yvonne White. Paul O'Neill Dobson. Now I heard that his name was pronounced Jeremy. Not Jerome. Even though it's spelled Jerome. That's what I heard. I always thought it was Jerome Walton. I heard it was spelled, uh, pronounced Jerome. Jeremy. I I don't know. <laughs> There's some more useless knowledge for you though. Spelled Jerome. Somebody said he actually pronounced it Jeremy. But in my younger years, in the 89-90 Jerome Walton craze and Dwight Smith, Felix Jose time, uh, we always called him Jerome. So I have no idea. Alrighty. Chris Bazio, Tom Gordon. There's D Gordon and I think his son other son's name is Nick or something like that. Kevin Elster like him back in the day. Fizio. Go back through, probably pull him out. Jim Abbott. Or Abbott, sorry. Abbott. I don't know why I said Abbott. Sorry about that guys, my tripod is a wide try on the bottom. <laughs> wide triangle. Greg Jeffries. Cecil Fielder. Oil Can Boyd. Pedro's brother. Scott Fletcher. I always thought that one looked like Carlton Fisk the way he batted. Eric Davis. Hawk. Okay, next pack. I was thinking about doing a new, uh, looks like a new, something new to bring to the channel. Start buying some mystery boxes off of eBay. And just, you know, just kind of like rating them, seeing if they're any good or garbage. And, uh, I can't really afford to buy a bunch of them because, you know, I'm just a dad who's divorced, that pays child support, and blah, blah, blah. And so all my money goes to other things, um, minus the card stuff. So I was thinking if anybody wanted to chip in, you can send it to my PayPal address. There's another old rude, but it's all centered. And after we get them, I'll open them. We'll do a review, and I will just mail all the cards to everybody who chipped in to buy the mystery packs. <laughs> So, if you're interested, my email address will be in the description. I can't even get this pack open. Golly. And just send me a PayPal, whatever amount you want. Whenever I get enough to buy a, whenever I get enough to buy a thing, uh, a mystery pack, um, then I'll take the money and put it toward it and I'll give you guys all a shout out on here and depending on how much anybody chips in that's how much you'll get back out of the out of the lot so if somebody pays for half of it you will get at least half the cards so on and so forth just put a, a thing in the description telling me your name or your YouTube user ID and then also put a note in there that says uh, you know, donation towards mystery box on eBay. And then that way I'll know and I'll keep it all separate and I'll keep you guys updated with with when we're ordering one. I got my eye on one right now. It's 40 bucks. And it, it looks interesting enough to me, but I don't want to just be spending a bunch of money on these things because I actually think that they're mostly probably garbage. But you never know. Carlton Fisk. Burt Bly 11, Bogsy. So, you know, I'll ask the YouTube and baseball card community if they want to chip in. And if you don't, no big deal. I don't have a uh, Patreon set up or nothing like that to help uh, put money towards other future videos and stuff. But I figure what's the next best thing. Can't even get this pack open. We just send it in PayPal and leave a note, and I will 
give shout outs every time I receive anything and say, hey, Joe Schmo sent me this much towards a mystery pack or whatever. And we just need this much more money, Hawk, to get something cool. I don't want your guys' money and stuff like that. There's, a, I think, a third George Brett. Uh, it's not about getting your money or being paid to do videos. It's just about, you know, helping out uh, towards the purchase of things to make these videos. And I'll give it all right back to you because I don't want you to buy me cards. <laughs> you can always send fan mail if you don't want anything that you know I like. And I appreciate it, but uh, it's not what this is all about. It's just about, you know, getting new things for the video and not going broke doing it because I have a lot of other things I need to pay for. The Lionel the Shields, he was a good one back in the day. That was a pretty good, was it? First pack I pulled, no, second pack I pulled Griffey? Pretty good second pack. The Lecky. Yeah, any of these that are centered well and if the backs don't have any like noticeable white or chipping or whatever, they're definitely going to PSA. Another Nolan Ryan. Let's see, this one is it's centered back. All right, everybody, we are back. All right, so all right, don't laugh when you see my stack of what I what I thought was um, slab cans. Hold on, I'm just gonna lower my thing a little bit here. Gets you some better looks. All right. So, anyways, uh, so let me just tell you what you need to look for on these cards, okay? I went through this whole pile, okay, and I found lots of great stars, okay? There's lots of good cards in here, and uh, I mean, I, I couldn't pull out any of the Nolan Ryan's or Sandberg's or nothing, and, it, and this is the reason why. You see right here. So the centering on this card is going to be based on the space under the name and the top of the border has to be even 50 50 same with the left to right okay so you can see on this one it's it's probably 70 30 left to right and top to bottom is probably I mean, maybe the left to right's a little maybe it's 65 35 and the same with top to bottom okay so I'm not gonna send in a card if it's 60 40 or worse I've told you guys this before I try to stick to 45 55 unless it's a really special card that's worth taking a chance on and then I will but this one you see nice looking card slightly off center left to right and top to bottom though okay and uh, as Nolan Klein likes to do over there at Elite Co 3 he holds them sideways and that's actually a really good way to look at the top to bottom so you see how much how much thinner that is over here underneath the name and how much thicker it is over here so in all my years of doing this uh, I've never held a card sideways and looked, but that makes a lot of sense. Okay, Nolan Ryan here, uh, not a slab candidate again, because top to bottom is where I'm finding most of the problem on these cards. You see how thin this is over here and how thick it is up here? Now, just looking at the card, if you didn't know that, it's a nice looking card, right? It's a good looking card. I mean, you can't tell the centering's off top to bottom. It just looks like a nice card, but that's going to be probably a maybe a nine but also maybe an eight George Brett same thing top to bottom this Bizio nice looking card sadly top to bottoms off okay and Gruber who cares uh, this this uh, Palmero left to right is just a little off but it's at top to bottom again and this one's actually a lot closer uh, to 50 50 but as you can see it's, it's about 60 40 top to bottom there so those are all no's plus all the other many many stars I pulled um, it's funny because like the ones I, I did pull out you're gonna see multiples of cards and they all seem to be okay in this run right here so let's see I got I got one two three Fred McGriffs okay but you see that centering top to bottom sorry I'm trying not to drop my cards when I do this you see that top to bottom how nice it is okay so that one you can tell the centering is 50 50 top to bottom or at least pretty darn close and then left to right also 50 50 so it just so happened that all my Fred McGriffs uh, and I think I pulled three or four were good centering wise okay 
I, I pulled the Marquis Grissom. Doesn't mean I'm going to get them graded. Uh, keep in mind, these are just cards that are candidates for grading that I think could get tens. Doesn't mean I'm going to send them in. I got to check pop reports. I got to check what they're selling for in tens and make sure it's going to be worth it if they do get a ten. And if they get a nine, I'm just going to, you know, hope I can get somewhere near my grading feedback. So there's like four or five Marquis Grissoms. Harold Baines, they all seem to be pretty good, so I pulled them all. There's four or five of those. One of them might have had a speck on a corner or something. So uh, one Schmoltz. This is the one that's the closest to not being 50-50 all the way around. But it's pretty darn close. Top to bottom is just a little, maybe 55-45-ish. Not quite 60-40. This Bonds was pretty good all the way around. Uh, top to bottom is cl very close. Uh, the only thing with this card is that little, that's a, just a, a manufacturing flaw. I thought I would just take a chance on this, just see what they do with it. I mean, it's pretty close to a 10. I want to see if they're going to downgrade it for that, though. Uh, I got the two Sosas. Both came out uh, pretty close. These uh, I'm sending in, and I'm thinking they're probably going to get 9s, just because the centering's almost there, but not quite. But th that's one where I'm okay sending it in if I get a 9 on it, okay? Uh, and then I got four bows, and they're all pretty close, 9s to 10s. And I don't want nines on this, but I thought that they were close enough that they might get tens, so I, I'm sending them all four in. A couple Kinsecos, he's got a great uh, pop pop following, um, and these are pretty close. This one right here uh, is good, top to bottom, left to right is pretty close, pretty close. It's like you know, it's it's between that 45, 55, and a 60, 40 range, so I'm sending it anyways. And if it comes back a 9, I, I'm sure I can at least get my money back. And then the two Griffies that came out were both beautiful. Beautiful cards. So that's it, guys. I uh, hope you leave a like uh, and a thumbs up. Share the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and look forward to some more breaks. I'm going to keep doing them tonight for a while. And uh, probably post, you know, five, six videos this week. All right. Later, guys. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I just had a, my camera got too hot again, like... Well, usually, see, anyways, I was talking about this Nolan Ryan. It's uh, it's better than the last one, centering-wise, but uh, still slightly OC. So don't mind my cat there in the background talking to you. Another Nolan Ryan, uh, I'm sorry, Mark McGuire, off-centered. Can get a couple, couple Griffies, maybe a couple. Uh, what's his face? Sammy Sosa, Brian Sandberg. That's pretty nice. Slightly OC top to bottom, just slightly. Probably 60 40, which means it would probably get a nine because of that centering, unfortunately. It's just so hard to just rip these open. They're just tough. Okay. Barry Bonds, a little print defect right there, though. You can see that little orange thing. Definite ink print defect. Sid Fernandez. I liked Sid back in the day. You know, of course, like I said, Mets fan. I never met Sid though. He must have came. He must have came along. Cause I went to two '86 Mets reunion shows and I never met Sid Fernandez. So I'm trying to think if he was on the. Pretty sure he was on the '86 Mets World Series team. Pretty sure, yeah, pretty sure he was, but never met him though. Eddie Murray off centered, pretty bad. Crime Dog should be a Hall of Famer someday, I think. 
followed by Harold Baines again, so that must be that coalition. Uh, Canseco, but slightly off centered. So far, I got a nice Griffey, a nice bow, a decent Sosa, and there's probably some other ones in here that I kind of went through quick that I'm going to go back and look at, but you know, I got some. Some potential for PSA 10s there with the Griffey and that bow even. Uh, I'll come back through and, and like I said I'll pull out some more too. In fact if you guys are interested in me doing a recap video of what I think will get a 10 uh, just let me know in the comments for future reference and I'll I'll do more recap videos. I mean I'll, I'll add it to the end of the video. After I go through the cards, and I'll combine the two videos and upload them. I sent some stuff to Kevin Elster one time, and his wife responded and said, uh, "Please send five bucks for each item I want autographed." <laughs> so, it was needless to say, I didn't send anything else. Uh, that Biggio's got some really bad ink smudges, printing defect. Abbott, oh my goodness, there's the $18 Greg Maddox. I think it was $18, did it say? No, $20. I said this was worth $20 in 1996. It's slightly OC left to right, so. Nice Glavin. Greg Olson again, so I probably won't get it graded, unfortunately. A perfect world, these would all come out. Centered at least, give me a fighting chance out of 10. But then it would probably drive the prices of PSA 10s down because the population report would be much higher on them. And the percentages would be much higher too. So, I guess we better just keep it the way it is to keep things the way that they are. Robin Yount again. Oh, another bow. Not horrible. Not horrible, guys. Might get another one graded. Bow tends to go for decent money. I might even get like those rookies graded, like the Grissom and Old Rude and stuff. I think Series 2's got the Larry Walker. Get those graded. Definitely gonna get the Larry Walker graded. I think he should definitely be a Hall of Famer. I think he was a great ball player. And I think he should definitely be in the Hall someday. So we'll see what happens with that. Gary Carter, the kid. Fred Lynn at the end of his career. Chef, a little bit off-centered though. Off-centered. Delano of the Shields, off-centered. Eddie Murray, off-centered. So, you have to go to the bed with these. You're gonna get some that are centered right, and you can get some that are just 60-40 or so. And those are the ones you, you don't want to get graded unless you're okay with nines. And sometimes I send in a lot of stuff and I really need tens. And sometimes uh, I'll send in stuff and I'm just shooting for nines and tens. Hey, another Griffey. Nicely centered again. Perfectly centered, guys. Definite you know, slab candidate on that one, too. It would be great to get a couple ten Griffies. I mean, that one was perfectly centered. If you want to take a look, go back and pause it. See, then you got Daryl here. It's slightly off left to right, as you can see. Just slightly off. Alright, Griffey, assuming the back's as good as the front. Anyways, not necessarily the centering, because they're a little bit more lenient on the back centering. But, it's as, long as, the, as long as the edges and stuff and the corners are good. Should be good. This is a small set, and you're getting 36 cards in a pack. Barry Larkin, I'm sorry, 36 cards in a box, 15 cards in a pack. Clemens, slightly off centered. So you got a you got a heck of a chance at getting slightly off centered, uh, getting um, doubles of the good cards and stuff, or at least a lot of doubles. Because in 20 packs you're getting 300 cards. 
So you're getting like, I mean, you're getting like, without doing the math, roughly five, 550 cards roughly per box. A 264 card set. So you're, so you're looking at, um, you know, you're looking at possibly getting two of everything. McGriff, and we know already here we've gotten three McGriffs and Baines and Mitchells. I can say goes not too badly centered. Actually, it's pretty good all the way around, I think. Might pull him out right now just for fun. So let's hope we get another Sosa. I think him and a, him and a 10 goes okay money. I don't know. I think I... I think it goes for like the 120 range in the 10. I think, don't quote me, I could be off a little bit, but it doesn't go for, I don't think it goes for much more than that, but I think it goes in the 120 range for a 10. Or it might be in the 60, 80 range, I can't remember. I looked it up not too long ago, and I can't remember. George Brett, of course I'm checking out market reports on so much stuff that uh, it's hard to keep track of every single thing. I mean, I usually I'm pretty good. So I think that one's in the one, I think it's in the 120 range, or 10. Alrighty. There's another Sosa. And that one is centered a lot better. Uh, a little ink smudge right here, as you can see. That's a manufacturing flaw, just kind of comes on the border a little bit. The centering's quite a bit better, slightly off top to bottom. Maybe 55, 45, maybe close to 60, 40, but it's an in-betweener. So if they don't hit me on that print defect, the centering might qualify for a 10. Gail Murphy, another John Olerud, that one looks pretty good too, slightly off top to bottom. That one's maybe 60-40. Okay. So there's my, there you go. Make sure it's focused for you guys. Alright, sorry uh, this video's taking so long. When I open up these big boxes, I know some people can do them in like 20 minutes. And I'm, I'm going through cards pretty fast, but it's, it's the getting them opened that takes me the longest. So... If it's a nice wax pack, I like to preserve the pack, so it takes me, you know, a few seconds. Nice thin sucker sleeve, but the top, I think the bottom left hand corner might be slightly touched. Uh, anyway, sorry, yeah, sorry. Um, sorry, these videos are a little bit longer than normal, but, you know, in between the packs, there's a nice fisk, slightly off center, top to bottom, and a slight little kind of corner. Corner dinger right there. You just barely see it, but just enough to where I know it. See right there? It's not going to get a 10. Um, you can like, you know, double tap your double tap your screen and scoot 10 seconds ahead, and by that time I should be about, <laughs> I should have this pack about open. That'll speed your video up. 36 packs, 10 seconds. That'll speed it up a fair amount and get it onto a regular speed video. Another nice yount. Another bow. Nice. Slightly OC left to right. I'm going to pull it anyways because, you know, sometimes you get a lot of the stuff graded. You know, they'll throw you a bone on some stuff that's close. So, you know, when it's like an in-betweener, instead of getting a 9.5, I might just give you that 10. You know, if it's a 9.5 by PSA standards, which they don't grade in nine fives. Uh, it should be, I think, it should be a, a a nine. However, if the card has, you know, is an in betweener and it's got some great eye appeal and blah blah blah, then I could see them slightly grading it on a curve. You know, but we're talking about if it's if it's a real in betweener. Between a nine and a ten, you know, what should it be? Well, it shouldn't be a ten if it's an in betweener. It should it should be, be a nine, but I've seen some tens where where uh, where I thought they were kind of an in betweener and they come back a ten. But you know, 
I'm just um, an experienced grading uh, grading submitter. I'm not a professional by uh, you know by by any anyone's term. Uh, I just know a lot about cards, and I've been doing it forever, and that's a decent knowing, Ryan. Slightly OC, top to bottom again, though. Dang it. But, yeah, I'm not a professional. I just I just know a lot about this stuff because I've been doing it forever, and I know about card conditions because I've been doing it forever. And plus, I'm super OCD about it all, so. Oh, shoot. Just knocked over a snack, but I didn't go too far. So, no big deal. Everybody's okay. But you see how hard I got to freaking pull those things? Once it broke free, I knocked over a stack of cards. No, the McGriffin, Baines, and Mitchell, and Buner, and can say, oh, <laughs> I think that's four or five of those I've gotten so far. Another yount. Another bow. That's my fourth bow, I think. And a Barry Lions. Kind of open this one here slightly off camera just so that way I don't do that again and knock over my stack of cards Ugh. okay get that puzzle piece out that'd be cool if I get a whole puzzle put it in a frame if anybody wants the whole puzzle they can have it. What are the odds of that? Card upside down. That's the first one of those we've seen. Okay, lots of doubles we've seen, guys. Some triples, some quadruples, and some quintuples. I'm pretty sure I got five of the Baines, McGriff, Conseco, Buner run. That collation. Another Sheffield. I can't remember what was what the Griffey came in. What are off center Eddie Murray? It's all right, guys. Two packs left. I give a shout out to uh, some of my regular commenters like Isaac and Lloyd Abraham appreciate you guys Big Mike thanks for uh, thanks for leaving likes and comments Ooh, another Maddox that one looks pretty good slightly OC top to bottom though so will probably get a nine who else mr. Dorito eater um, Let's see, and then some of the guys I like watching the videos of, and hopefully I can offer something to them in return, like Nolan over there at Elite Co. 3. Uh, my buddy George, Diamond Yard Sports Cards, Dan at Hard Art Cards. Who else? I like some of the other guys too. I've been watching Mike, uh, uh, Mike Oz and uh, some other guys. Anyways, if you guys have any favorite uh, YouTubers uh, that do box breaks, Leave it in the comments and I'll check out their videos. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you do. And please give this video a thumbs up. Please go check out my other videos. I do lots of box breaks. I do lots of random pack breaks. I do some lots of vintage stuff. I do lots of new stuff. In fact, after this, I'll probably do some 2014 Tops update. No, Top Series 2. 2019 Top Series 2, sorry. Uh, but first I'm gonna go through these cards and see what looks like a slab can and Then I'll show them to you guys at the end of this video here. So stay tuned and hold on a second <laughs> 